Happy Arvo. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. It's a little chilly here in Indiana today. Uh, let's check what you guys are going through. Let's say in Sydney. Sydney, Australia. Ooh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Sunny. Lucky you. All right. So this video is saying I don't know things about Australia. I tried to tell it. Like, I've made like 100 videos about Australia. Uh, 15 things I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see. <gasps> we'll see about that. Let's watch. Fifteen things you didn't know about Australia. This isn't even an Australian who's talking down to me like this. Let me tell you what you don't know. I probably won't know any of this. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where I'm on YouTube.com. Future billionaires come to get inspired. What is going on? G'day, mate. Welcome to yet another exciting original video presented G'day. to you by Alux.com. Today we'll be discussing the beautiful land down under, Australia. If there's one thing that Australia is best known for, it's its numerous kangaroos. stereotypes, most of which involve various kinds of slang. It's a well-known fact that Australians take pride in shortening almost every word in the English vocabulary. <laughs> However, none of these American fables tell the whole truth about this beautiful region. What most people do not know There's a spider web bridge. Know, is that by total area, this country is ranked as the sixth largest. It's comprised of the mainland, the Tasmanian island, and several other tiny islands that surround the entire continent. Sydney is its biggest urban region, while Canberra serves as the country's capital. To the north, Australia is neighbored by East Timor, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, while New Zealand neighbors it to the southeast. Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands neighbor it to the northeast. Dutch explorers discovered this island in the early 1600s, which later opened it up to British settlers who I'm sorry, this is 15 things I don't know. Have we gotten to number one? <laughs> What's, is this one fact? Claimed half of the entire region to the east. This is a long fact. Prior to these settlements, Australia was inhabited by indigenous Aussies, who are believed to have over 200 language groups. 200. In the late 1800s, Did not know that. Australia had already been fully occupied with over six different crown colonies established under colonial rule. It wasn't until January of 1901. Yeah, it was a bunch of criminals. <laughs> I, I think that's the coolest thing about Australia, honestly. A bunch of convicts. Those are the founders. <laughs> no. One that all six colonies came together, federated, and formed the Commonwealth of Australia. Today, Australia is the world's 13th strongest economy and the second when it comes to the Global Human Development Index. It is also ranked highly in health, civil liberties, education, quality of life, economic freedom, and as a tourist destination. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Since what most people from the Northern Hemisphere hear about Australia. Okay, we're not even at the list yet. I was confused. You're about this great land you know what? Stereo I'm skipping ahead. No. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this lady. Things you probably didn't know about Australia. Thank you. Number one, progress oriented. There are two endemic creatures featured in the Australian coat of arms. There is an emu, the only bird closest in height to the ostrich, and a kangaroo. Both of these animals can only make forward movements. As such, that's an huh. It's believed that the use of these animals as national symbols signifies progress. What do you mean it's believed? Why don't we just ask the people who did it? It tends to paint the image of a country that is always moving forward, That's never cool, though. backward. <laughs> and this is evident by the tremendous like growth that. the country is experiencing on all fronts, be it education, economic stability, freedoms, and the like. Okay. Number like two, that. Australia is home to 7,000 beaches. No, it's just one. Here, I'll show you. Australia map. See, here's the beach. This right here, yeah, you can see my cursor. That's one beach. Well, I guess there's two, because Tasmania is part of Australia too, right? So there's one beach and there's two. Yeah, not 7,000. 
Yes, as crazy as it may sound, Australia literally has 7,000 beaches. This is due to its unique geographical structure, which includes numerous islands, apart from the mainland itself. And this is what gives Australia the number one ranking when it comes to tourist-friendly destinations worldwide. Therefore, if surfing, sunbathing... I guess there's a lot more islands to Australia than I realized, huh? King Island. Apparently there's a bunch of tiny islands. I don't know. Thing, fishing or beach volleyball is your thing. You'll definitely find Australia to be a very welcoming host. Okay, why are people laying on the concrete? Huh. Number three. It's sparsely populated except for the coasts. Despite having over that, 700 million square kilometers in space, close to 80% of the country's population resides within 100,000 meters of the coastline. Within 100,000 meters. Why didn't you just say 100 kilometers? As a matter of fact, all of the major cities have been built along the coast. This is attributed to the fact that a greater chunk of the land is not fit for agriculture due Did to the Did she really say that? I'm... As a matter of fact, population resides within 100,000 meters of the coastline. This water shortage experienced. Much of the expanse is actually covered by dry land and deserts. As a result, inland, there are only 2.7 people living per square kilometer. <laughs> this is that a is meager crazy. figure compared to the UK's 248 people per square kilometer. Yeah, but we already watched that other video about why that is. It's basically impossible to live <laughs> on half of Australia. Number four, the longest fence in the world. The saying, huh. at it like that. rabbits, holds a lot of weight in Australia. There's a fence believed to stretch for approximately 5,000... Again, with this believed. Nobody's measured it, huh? ...600 kilometers that was originally put in place to prevent she rabbits found out from what spreading. a kilometer was. You mean 5 million meters? Later on, the fence helped keep dingoes from accessing any fertile regions. Oh, yeah, I did know about that. Number five. Oh. Longest golf oh, course worldwide. Oh, yeah, I knew that too. But it's some, like, ridiculous, like, not actual golf course, right? Still on extremes, Australia's home... Like it has like a par 7,000. ...home to the biggest golf course in the world. Right. It's estimated to be 1,368,000 meters in size. Yeah. So for all golf <laughs> lovers, ridiculous. Australia has a whole lot to... But this looks absolutely incredible. Whatever this golf course is, like in the desert, that is cool. Oh man, that would be fun. ...offer. It is also important to note that Australia has a whole new uh, meaning to sand trap. Uh, that barely made sense. ...has right, the longest continue. railway stretch known to man, 478,000 meters in length. Huh. Okay, I didn't know that one Number all. Number six. I'll admit it. Australia moves six centimeters to the north annually. Whoa, 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 Research whoa. Research shows that the continental plate is gradually moving towards the equator, Did with the west that. coast moving faster than so the So it's east getting coast. hotter. Every 15 million years, the plate moves a half a degree. It might seem like a minute figure, but it greatly affects no, that sounds like a lot. GPS readings. Oh my Number gosh, seven, that's crazy. Bob Hawke, Australia's beer minister. No one has served longer as Australia's Prime Minister than Bob Hawke. Prime Minister or Beer Minister? What, what? However, his fame came to be 30 years prior to his election after he broke a Guinness World Record by drinking two and a half pints of beer in no 12 way. seconds. In 12 seconds. To a great extent, his election into office was greatly influenced <laughs> by this since the majority of those that voted for him were the beer drinking population. Oh my god, that is incredible. Number eight. Foster's is not the Australian drink of choice. Aussies definitely drink a whole lot of beer. However, contrary to popular belief, Foster's is not among the popular beer brands in the country. The beer preference here varies. The bubbles here are like creeping me out. They look like a bunch of little, you know, Orbeez. Like a bunch of little balls. Depending on the geographical location. For instance, Cooper's is a very popular choice in Southern Australia, as well as mm. Adelaide, whereas for- Hold up, I want to take a little bit of a, more of a look at that. A pale ale, four and a half percent alcohol. X <laughs> gold is more popular in Queensland. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Number nine, 
The Number second nine. Greece. Australia. The second Greece. Specifically Melbourne is home to the largest Might Greek not be a good population. Thing. That is after oh, Greece. Oh, just Greek population. There okay. are great Greek sites to visit, such as the Hellenic Museum and the I was thinking like uh financially. The Hellenic Foundation for Culture Center. That's crazy. I didn't know so many Greek people live there. Number ten. Rarest animal species. Oh what that makes sense because they all evolved in the middle of well, a giant island, completely like cut off from the rest of the continents. Number That's 10. So cool. Though. Rarest animal species. <laughs> a while ago, we ranked some of the rarest species in the world. Australia is home to some of these animals, examples being the bilbies, koalas, kuokas, and wombats. It is said that millions of years ago, Australia helped form the Great Gondwana continent. Most of these rare species adapted to life in Australia after the continent broke away. Number 11. Watch out for the box jellyfish. Most people believe that, that crocodiles, drop bears, funnel web spiders, or sharks are the most. Imagine deep. being an animal that you can see through. How does that even make sense? Dangerous animals in Australia. <laughs> However, the box jellyfish is responsible for more fatalities oh my gosh. than all of these Why are the fish species going with combined. It? It's because of this that authorities insist that tourists should never wade into the Australian waters without a guide. That's weird. It made a bunch of fish friends. Number 12. Fish are friends, not food. number of natural world heritage sites. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, or huh. UNESCO, has listed several world heritage sites in Australia. However, only four of them are not natural heritage sites. The four include Carlton Gardens, Sydney Opera House, Royal Exhibition Building, and Australian Convict Site. Oh, what is that? That's cool. Number 13. Australia is almost equal in size to the USA. Still blows Most my mind. Most people assume that it. Australia is a very small country. The truth of the matter is that it's only smaller than the US by approximately 7.7 7 square really cool kilometers. Building. Its only issue is the fact that it has a small population. However, it covers a very huge expanse. It's not really an issue. Wouldn't call that an issue. Is the fact that it has a small population. However, it covers a very huge expanse, but more or less similar in size to the United States. Number 14. They have some of the weirdest laws on Earth. Australia has some of the strangest rules. For instance, I need to watch some more videos about that. It's a requirement that taxi cabs carry one bale of hay in the trunk. Why? Nobody knows, but rules are rules. And Nobody knows. Another weird rule is that in Victoria, what? it's illegal to don pink hot pants on a Sunday afternoon. Another notable law is that under the Offenses Act of 1966, Did she say pink hot pants? Sunday afternoon. And another weird rule is that in Victoria, it's illegal to don pink hot pants on a Sunday. What is pink hot pants? Is that like hot pink pants? Sunday afternoon. Another notable law is that under the Offenses Act of 1966, it's illegal for anyone to be heard singing aloud any song deemed as obscene. That means it's illegal <laughs> to sing along to 70% of rap. Yeah. Any music, pretty much here, coming out of the States these days. Rap music known to man in Australia. It's even illegal to leave one's car key in the ignition of an unattended vehicle. Safety first, right? Number thing, 15. Huh? It's home to several A-list celebrities. Little known by many is that Australia has produced a great number of Hollywood celebrities. I knew that. Popular actors such as Hugh Jackman, Mel Gibson, I knew it. Rebel Wilson, Lima and Chris Hemsworth, and Nicole Kidman. This list is endless. It is wild. Additionally, though. the bootylicious rapper Iggy Azalea also hails from this unique oh, the country. Hey, no offense, but I wouldn't mind if you guys took Iggy back. I didn't know she was from there. Wait, I don't... Guys, I don't know these people, honestly. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This is not who I thought. This is not who I thought. <laughs> I'm not good with the... <laughs> we'll keep her. Is she even here in the States? I don't know. I assume so. Is that the end? Clearly, Australia is not short of talent oh, or question. Wealth. And now that you've learned some more about this country, we'd like to know, would you choose Australia as your ideal tourist destination? Yes. Um, happy hour, though. Thank you for watching, everybody. Oh, and on the website where I sell t-shirts, ryanwas.com.
Uh, I managed to make it to where you don't have to use PayPal. You can just use your credit card and stuff. I, I turned that feature on in Shopify. It's very safe. I don't like get any of the information. It goes through Shopify. Anyway, thanks to the people who bought a t-shirt, by the way. That always puts a smile on my face. <laughs> Happy Arbo. Thank you for watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope to see you here again tomorrow where hopefully I'll be watching an episode or a segment of, hey, hey, it's Saturday because it's Saturday. <laughs> Goodbye.